Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best night vision effect in Premiere without any plugins. This is by far one of the easiest effects to make, but also one of the easiest to mess up. So I'm going to show you how to make it look super nice and stand out from the rest of the crowd. So let's hop right into the tutorial. Just before we hop in, I'm going to give you guys some more details on the 500 sub giveaway at the end of this video. So stay to the end to hear about that. But anyways, let's get right back to the video. So right here inside of Premiere Pro, we're going to get started. I'm just going to delete everything I already have on the timeline. And this is what the original video looks like. Like. All right, so now that I have a fresh clip, what I'm going to do is come right here to the project panel, right click new item and add an adjustment layer. And I'm going to drag that right in over my footage. And I'm just going to cut that right here. So the first effect that I'm going to add to this is going to be tint. So I'm going to come right here and drag tint onto my adjustment layer. And you're going to map the white to green, like a bright green, just like this. And now you're going to add some noise. So just go right here and search noise drag that onto the adjustment layer go back to the effects controls and uncheck use color noise and make the amount of noise something like 25 so we get a bunch of grain just like this i think that actually might be a bit too much so i'm going to bring that down to like i don't know 18 yeah that looks good that looks super good and next what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag the adjustment layer just up here right there and i'm going to duplicate this clip and i'm going to go right back to the effects and i'm going to search for gaussian blur and I'm going to drag that onto the top clip right there. And now I'm going to go back to the effects controls and I'm going to make the blurriness on the Gaussian blur something like 25, just like that. And now come to opacity and play with the blending mode. I think screen usually looks pretty good. So now we get this like glowing effect. If I were to turn off the top layer, it would look like this. And as you guys can see right here, we get this glowing effect. And now to spice things up, I'm going to add some CRT frames to this. So let me just grab them right here. And also some of the elements I'm going to be using in this video are from my CRT pack. If you guys want to go cop that, it's actually on sale at the moment. I'll leave that down below in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these overlays right under the adjustment layer so we get the texture and the tint from it. And I'm going to go right here to opacity blend mode and make that screen. And I'm just going to play with the scale of everything, bring that down just like that. So this is what everything looks like now that the effect and the overlays are placed onto the clip. It looks insane. The overlays really play a big part in it. I think this looks insane. And now I'm going to show you guys a second effect. So let's get right to it. So for this second effect, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to come back and add an adjustment layer to my clip and I'm just going to cut it right here at the end. What I'm going to do is come add a tint to it and I'm going to make it green just like for the previous effect. I'm also going to throw on some noise and crank that up to something like 17, 18, not, nothing crazy. And for the next effect i'm going to be throwing on a preset from my crt preset pack so if you guys have that come right here to the effects and search for crt2 and i'm just gonna throw that onto the adjustment layer and now we're gonna get this crazy looking effect as you guys can see let me put that in full resolution the detail and texture is crazy and what you guys can even do is come right here and just duplicate this clip and add Gaussian blur to the top layer just like the previous effect so now we're getting this really bright night vision effect but i think it looks better without the top layer just like that so i'm gonna play that through for you guys so that is pretty much it for this night vision effect i think it looks insane and you guys can really play with the overlays to make everything look really really cool so that is it for today and now to talk about the giveaway how to enter all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on this video right here and i'm going to be picking out the winners as soon as i hit 500 subs in total there's going to be five different winners who get to pick two preset packs on my website for completely free so if you guys want to enter you know what to do subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and like the video so yeah i will catch you guys next time and uh, yeah peace out